know. I actually haven't watched his channel. In fact, I've kind of neglected my own channel for a while, which I'm coming back to it soon. I've been favoring TikTok mostly lately, but I'm not sure about Roscoe. I don't. I don't know what's going on with Roscoe. Okay. I mean, I went. I I can interject. I think I went through his channel. And I think he was doing more so podcasts, but I, I'm not sure if somebody took over the channel. Um, but it's one of those things where I don't think he with BL, but not like in a bad sense. I just don't think he with BL. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. What's that right hey, here? Let me see, oh, wow. Let me What's see, Tim. Let me see, Everything's here. Since when do you talk like that? I'm sorry. It's not Nance gives me here. trouble, and I'll tell him, screw around with those suitcases, and I'll take the eyes out of his freaking the, head. Again. I didn't crash. That's a freaking head. That's enough. I'm sorry. All right. Gideon and Tom in the building. <laughs> All right, my guy. Oh, All right. So, Tom, man, you 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 reached out to me because you, you know, we just going to get right into it. You you said that you was interested in VL trucking, right? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Yeah, most definitely. All right, so tell me a little bit about why you, you're interested in VL trucking, bro. All right, say less. Um, few things, right? It's like we all know the same thing. We all after the same goal. You get what I mean? Um, Just mm -hmm. not really want to be sold a lot. You get what I mean? The markets are hurting. Diesel is high. So it's just like where we going to eat at. So with that being said, um, I got seven months experience and I'm just looking to, you know, kind of get the best out of my situation because really nothing is impossible. I see no um, owner operators within three months. And I'm not saying I'm rushing like that, but it's just like, I heard VL trucking is a good place to start. You know what I mean? I heard they, they pay pretty well. Um, I saw the videos on Asian My. You know what I'm saying? They have enough trucks. I would you know, imagine to. You know, stay afloat, 240, or that was like last year or so. So it just seems like, you know, that type of small company enough. They're a big company, but like, it's not like Swift or nothing where, I mean, you hella forgotten about. It. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. just, you know, looking to run, honestly and truly. Like, I'm uncomfortable with anything below 3,000 miles. That's just me personally. Okay. So okay. Okay. By looking at the videos, like, it like, seems like, like they you're trying to come on company, there. huh? You coming on as company? Yeah, I want like company, but definitely, um, you know, as I branch out and I find out, you know, that uh, lease operator works out, you know what I'm saying for mm -hmm. real, and uh, you know, I'll go ahead and jump over, but definitely company. You know, I'm in my first year, I don't want to jump into no mistakes. I'm just still trying to get right. my numbers right before, you know what I'm saying. All right, so Gideon, Gideon, before before I ask my mm -hmm. question, because you know he he uh, asked me uh, about uh, about the young man uh, Roscoe. Uh, we already know what happened to a trucker named Jay. Jay, rest in peace to him. But is yeah. Ro has I, I haven't I haven't heard nothing for like a good minute from Roscoe. Is he still rocking out for VL Trucking, if you know or not? That I don't know. I actually haven't watched his channel. In fact, I've kind of neglected my own channel for a while, which I'm coming back to it soon. I've been favoring TikTok mostly lately, but I'm not sure about Roscoe. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Roscoe. Okay. I mean, I went, I, if I can interject, I think I went through his channel. And I think he was doing more so podcasts, but I, I'm not sure if somebody took over the channel. Um, but it's one of those things where I don't think he with VL, but not like in a bad sense. I just don't think he with VL. Okay, okay, yeah. all right. So okay. Gideon, man, based on everything this young man has said, what what do you what, what, what do you got to say about uh about VL trucking for 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 this young man? All right. Being that I have been on both the company and the own op, well, lease op side, I feel like I'm, I'm qualified to, you know, teach, teach a bit about this place, right? Right, so right. On the company side, there is no detention case. 
there is no layover pay. The entire premise of both the company and contractor side is broker break. So you don't know where you go. Say go to Jordan and get a load that's on 130 Franklin Street. 130 Franklin Street got a hundred different companies and you don't know which one. There's no guide or nothing. So wow. you're stuck wandering, going around, trying to figure out which one. Is this this place? Is this this place? And it's really cumbersome and inefficient. Uh, so, like, and you say you don't want anything under 3000 I'm going to keep it a buck with you, my guy. Sometimes you will end up with less than 3000 miles. The reason is, a lot of times they'll schedule you something, but then when it's time to, you know, get moving, something yeah. happens. For example, um, this one place may have kept you there for eight hours. Knowing you don't get extension pay, but you've been at the right. top for eight hours. And then the next right. place, that might have messed up your load for that because you now don't have time to get over to the next place by the pickup time. So Makes considering sense. that fact that you don't have the time, you're just doing that. Now, you can do 700 miles a day over there, depending on when you run and how you run. That's very possible. I've done it sometimes two days in a row. But uh, it's also 1099, responsible for your own deduction. And as a company driver, cannot deduct you legally for any expenses for the truck because they reimburse for that. <laughs> You try to deduct it, that could be a problem. Okay. I, I didn't mean to interject. I, I, I ain't had nothing to add to the uh uh conversation. I'm I'm just sitting back relaxing and listening to uh what Gideon is uh talking about, you know, how VL trucking is. Um I would want to say this, um, considering everything that 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 he has said about um about VL trucking. With that little bit of information, are you still time? Are you still interested in going with VL trucking? Um, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, I actually, I actually, um, at a, I'm, I'm in the door. It's just I don't know if I want to pull that trigger. Um, I already got approved and. I'm approved with safety and everything. I'm just waiting to pull that trigger. It, um, it's just a scary thing from, you know, bouncing around from company to company. Like, where I'm at right now, Martin guarantees me 14 a week. That's nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about if I miss a point, not miss appointment, but like, that's just minimum. You come out the house, you, you don't reject no loads, you'll be all right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, they seem to keep me in that 14 mile bracket. You know what I'm saying? They'll let me run. They don't. They don't allow me. Not allow, but I'm not running more than 2,200 a week. So it's just like I don't want to switch companies. You know, in a hurting market. You know, just to find out that you know it's not what I'm looking for. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. All right. So Gideon, man. Um, you 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 told the young Jack right here, uh, you know what could be possible with VL trucking. Now, what's some of the uglier side of VL trucking? Those people don't know how to talk to folks. So if you, yeah, they really don't like. For example. They're really cold. Have you have you ever seen the movie Rocky with Ivan Drago? Yeah, I did. The same mannerism, same demeanor. That's how they have. It's still, it's just a cultural thing. So finish talking about the Rocky analogy. Okay, basically what I said about um is Ivan Drago, how he's cold, uncaring, matter of factly. And it's basically a fuck your feelings type of perspective. So, so he that's how that's how they are. It's a cultural thing. They don't mean to be rude. It's just a cultural thing. Right. So they might talk crazy. They'll be like, man, who do you think you're talking to? 
but they don't mean it like that. They really don't. They're like, right. oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't mean that. But um, yeah. you'll, you'll end up in some places where you don't want to be. Like, it's been more than once. My longest time I've ever been at a stripper was 14 hours. Oh. They had me there for 14 hours at the dock waiting to get loaded. And they took their time because there is no detention for something to try. And they'll keep coming to your door. They'll keep checking on you. You can't really sleep except waking up. And right, right. They'll make sure that everything is good. But you can't yeah. sleep. Uh, that's happened. I've had extended wait times, 14, 8, and 12 hours. Those are the three times I've had, like, really long wait times. Wow. Usually three or four hours and I'm gone. So, Damn it. some wait times. Sometimes you'll sit because they can't find a good load for the day or a load may get canceled by the broker. It's, it's a bunch wow. of stuff that goes on. I yeah. like with the you know that's every company. You know that's, mm-hmm. with the that's regular almost carry, like every company. Got you. I see. So what is their contract like? They don't have contracts. That's what I'm saying. They it's all broker. So it's like you don't know what you're going to end up with at, where you're going to end up. Uh, A lot of these places are not intended for truck traffic. It can be pretty bad, yeah. but the money can be good. When the money is good, it's great. Okay, yeah. so with the little bit of information that uh that Gideon has gave you so far, is 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 uh VL trucking still on that high on, on that high list of trucking companies that you might give a chance to? Hold on, hold on before oh, you yeah. answer that. Uh, hold, put hold on, one more hold thing on. Out there. Go ahead, go ahead. Ready? I'm ready. Yeah. So, lockout. You remember me spoke? You remember we spoke December thirtieth about the date of that accident? Yes. December thirtieth. You interviewed me, and I told you about the accident and how they were doing things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that accident was ruled the other person's fault. And I did not get a ticket, and they're insured. Right. Information on my report. Okay. DL put in that number one, the accident happened in San Antonio, Texas. I was in Louisiana. Number two, they said that I was at fault that I hit another truck. There was no other truck involved. Okay. So luckily I had the police because when I went to get another job at another company, they said, Hey, we can't hire you because of this. I said, Well, that's not true. He said, Well, this is what's on the report, and he showed me the picture of it. And then I shot him back to the police report, and then I got hired. So they're putting false information on the report. Oh, uh oh. oh. Uh oh. Okay, Tom. So, what yeah. happened? What happened? I mean, Gideon Gideon was in an accident uh, a while back, and we talked about it. Uh, and unfortunately, VL Trucking is doing some yin yang, which forced him to make other decisions about his trucking career. And unfortunately, he decided to bid VL Trucking to uh, do. With all this information that you just got from this young man today, uh, from Gideon, what's your feelings now about going with VL Trucking, my guy? Got you. Um, honestly, um, I'm like I am still interested. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and I will say because, like. You know, being at Schaefer, that that's a part of the game. And I came from a system that didn't pay for detention. If I came from a if I came from a system that paid detention, 
then it would be like, all right, well, this is what I'm used to. So I'm not even used to detention. I'm used to just hauling ass to get a mile. The law, 70 cents, nothing else. So, I mean, you know, I know what comes with the game. You know what I mean? Okay. Just, you know, looking for a company that really, you know, is going to run. You know what I mean? And, you know, being like having to sit for a day, it, that happens not with make, bigger carriers, but it happens. It's the honest, smaller cell, and I understand that. You know, it's the end of the day. It's not the beginning of the day, and you just probably gotten done with your load around 1, 3 p.m., you know what I'm saying? So it's hard to book some that same day, so some would be probably the next day or, you know, like weekends and everything. So, okay. Like those, I'm, 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 I'm aware of that. So it's just like, um, now the shady thing about the accident is not an excuse or nothing. I just see them just trying to, you know, get one up. Like, that's, that's understanding human psychology. Everybody have that. Let me try to get one up. You know, um, it, it is unfortunate. You know what I mean? I can't say, you know, a bigger company wouldn't do it. Everybody trying to get one up. It's just, you know, how you going to protect yourself so, you know, that don't happen. And, you know, because he had the police report, you know, that's 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 that's, that's 100% how to cover yourself. You get what I'm saying? So, okay. Um, okay. I get it. That's I get what's... It. But um, I'm, I'm still interested is my major concern is now, right now, right? The only thing, I know they run Midwest primarily. My only concern is this weather. Now, this would be my first winter in um, trucking. So I would, you know, I would really learn how the game goes, what's available, what's not. You know what I mean? I know everything is a lot more slower. So it's just, you know, that's, that's my only concern. You know, I just want to be able to get them 3,000 miles if I can or more. Uh-huh. Like, I'm not, I look at it like this. I ain't, I, I'm not leaving my crib. I live in Miami. I'm not leaving my crib to do anything less than 3,000. For what? I could, I could be home chilling. 3,000 miles is chilling. You know what I mean? So, uh-huh. Look into MGR yeah. Freight. MGR Freight, I came up with them. Them, they pay a dollar per mile. Company. Oh. Yeah. Company drivers, a dollar per mile. So look into them. Got you. I'm looking into them right now, my boy. All right. All right. Get on the all right. Gideon and my man Thomas. Gideon, thanks you for thank ugh, ugh. thank you very much, brother man, for coming in and uh Helping me out, you know, with some questions for this young man. Tom, thank you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Guys, you know the best conversation starts over here. And if y'all need some help, y'all know what to do. Hit me up, 216-600-2090. That's what we do over here. Tom, Gideon, thank you very much, brother man. I really do appreciate it. Gideon, we will get back together, sir, because... We want to know all about this TikTok shenanigans. And Tom, thank you very much for stopping by. And I appreciate you being a, being a supportive of the channel, man. Hey, definitely, man. I'm going to check it out today, bro. Like, thank you. Thank all you. right. I thank you. Thank you. Big cheese got it locked. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you let me down?